Well, something in a slightly different direction for a change. Air conditioning compressor. Taking one apart. This one's from a 98 GMC K1500 pickup truck. Hasn't been in service for too long, but um, I see something that's gone pretty bad with it over here. The suction port's pretty clean of any sort of debris. While the discharge port actually has quite a bit of sludge in it. I would probably suggest it was running a little bit low on refrigerant or as I'm suspecting the wrong, excuse me, the incorrect sort of refrigerant oil was used. Air conditioning compressors like engines and transmissions and cars have to use a very specific type of lubricant in them. And if you don't use a proper lubricant, well they might work okay at first, but after a while they're going to suffer. You can see all the sludge and all the oil over there. Pretty much of a mess. That's the case body bolts. Well, we'll open up the case, see what we got. Working with, working with one hand here. You can catch it before it falls on the ground. Usually end up puking their guts all over the place, these things when you yank them apart. But ah, anyway, here we go. No dramatics in this one. But you can see in the cylinders. Yes, that sludge has come from the the piston rings in these things, in this case, are made out of Teflon. And when they don't get the proper oil in them, then they start to rub against the cylinder walls and they start to flake off and rub and become this black sludge paste, which then gets all throughout the rest of the compressor. And there's also no oil, really, that dripped out of this compressor at all. There's nothing in here to speak. Almost totally dry. Actually, it's caked on, on the ends. These are the reed valves on the end, by the way. Maybe we can poke one out here and show what it's all about. There we go. Compressor's work on the principle that as the pins go up and down, it pushes these reed valves up and down as well too, ever so slightly, so they can pull in the refrigerant, and then it gets compressed out into the discharge line out into the condenser of the car. Now I suspect that in this vehicle, the condenser was pretty much plugged up with debris and sludge. I'm going to see if we can bop out the um, pistons so you can see what they look like. Apart, see if something will happen. Boink. There we go. Tons of pieces now. Let's see what we got. Okay. There's the pistons, and there's the Teflon piston rings we were talking about. Normally, these things should last at least a couple hundred thousand kilometers and and I've seen them well the one in my um, 2001 Malibu is still going strong after almost 300 that's how these things work the, in the shaft gets spun by of course the plates over here this gets engaged by the electromagnet assemblies let's just see assembly goes like this you got your magnets got your magnets Got your pulley that the fan belt attaches to, the serpentine belt attaches to. This attaches to that. And when you apply electricity to this, it pulls the plates apart from mag uh, by magnetic force or pulls them together, excuse me. This in turn turns a shaft and then it moves this wobble plate, which pulls these pistons up and down through the cylinders over here, which in this case are all full of sludge and gum. It works by the principle of the slider disc and the shoe discs and the balls. That's how it works up and down. When it's taken care of properly, it serves properly. The condenser is free and clear and it doesn't get um, jammed up by debris, and which means it overheats and makes a lot of pressure. Well, if none of the above happens, then the systems will last and they'll run properly for a good long time. Anyway, so this is just a very, very rudimentary and just introduction to how an air conditioning compressor works on a car and uh, what happens if it's not taken care of. It's like any other device on the vehicle. It will just fail on you in pretty short order. There's just an example. Have a great day.